Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries and welcome to my 30 days of cycling challenge. So here we are, it's very, very early days of this challenge at the moment. Today is only day three. And if you were watching last week's vlogs, you'll know that I went out on Monday and I did a 25 kilometer route through a fairly busy town. So I left home and I went out to a place called Havant, went through a place called Denville's and then up to Rowlands Castle. And once I got to Rowlands Castle, I was out in the country again so it wasn't quite as bad but uh, I won't be doing that route again because it just was so busy there were so many delays just slowing me down and not letting me get into the ride there was traffic lights there was traffic there was pedestrians crossing roads there was a railway crossing at one point that slowed me down so I can't imagine what on earth possessed me to use that route. The only thing that I can think of was that it was one of my favorite routes a few years ago, but since riding it, the traffic has obviously increased. So um, yeah, I won't be doing that route again. And then yesterday I thought I would go out and, uh, and ride actually on the road again but as soon as I got the bike out of the garage it started pouring down with rain and it wasn't just a passing shower it was an absolute torrent of rain so um, I, I quickly put the bike back in the garage and turned to my turbo trainer and Zwift but unfortunately I hadn't uh, been riding on the turbo trainer and using Zwift for quite a while so Zwift had to update and there was all kinds of various things going on there it had forgotten my password so I had to go and sign in and then when I put the bike on the turbo trainer all the sensors didn't work and I needed to replace the batteries it was just one long list of just one thing after another and it really really frustrated me but in the end I got there uh, and I did my 25 kilometers on the turbo trainer with Zwift. And, and I actually rather enjoyed it after all of that. Um, I was able to listen to music, so that always makes the, uh, the kilometers pass very quickly. Uh, and it was just great fun, sat there on the turbo trainer, watching uh, my progress around the London course. Uh, and, and it also had the bonus of being a fair bit quicker than actually going out and riding on the road. Now, normally when I ride 25 kilometers on the road, depending on the route that I take, it takes between an hour and an hour and a quarter. And yesterday on Zwift, it was only uh, about 40 minutes. And then today I finally did manage to get out on the road. Um, I rode my Cannondale on the Edney's Lane course and okay the Edney's Lane course is only 24.4 kilometers and obviously 0.7 of a kilometer shorter than my 25 limit but it does have a couple of fairly biggish climbs in there so and they kind of compensate so I'm not going to worry too much about that and I think from now on this is going to be my go-to ride for this 25 kilometer route it's really nice it's in the country it's quite testing there's some uphills there's some downhills there's some flats there's some very fast sections and it's just one of my favorite routes at the moment so um, normally I would do that 25 kilometers in an hour I would absolutely gun it and try and do it as fast as I possibly could but uh, this morning I just thought I would set a benchmark time and just ride around uh, and not push myself too much and I got home with a time of one hour and seven minutes so a fairly respectable time without even pushing it so that's my benchmark time from now on. The 
the weather today wasn't too bad. It was fairly cool. I wouldn't say it was warm by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, and at one point I thought, oh, I'm a little bit on the cold side, but uh, uh, I soon warmed up as I started cycling round. Uh, and then about 10 minutes into the ride, I felt a couple of spots of rain, but fortunately it did hold off. And uh, I managed to get home without uh, getting wet. And luckily for me, uh, within about 10 minutes of getting in, the heavens opened and it just started pouring down with rain again. But by that time, I just didn't care. I was home, um, I'd, I'd uh, uh, finished my ride, uh, and I was just about to settle down for a nice cup of tea. Now, even though it is only day three of this 30-day uh, challenge, uh, I didn't enjoy Monday's ride quite so much. Yesterday's wasn't bad. And, and I think I actually started to enjoy today's ride as well. So um, dare I say it, I'm almost looking forward to my ride tomorrow, which will be day four of the challenge. Day four, and I'm out on the Cannondale again, doing the Edney's Lane run. Uh, today's the first day of the challenge that uh, I've not been too worried about the weather. Although uh, there is a bit of grey cloud in the sky, I'm fairly confident that it's not going to rain. So, fingers crossed, I'll get back home and be nice and dry. I may have spoken a little too soon about the weather. Although I don't think it's going to rain, there's a really strong headwind. It's gonna make things interesting. Halfway up Edney's Lane now. I'm not trying to do anything clever or hard. I'm just taking it nice and easy, keeping my cadence at about 80, just ticking away. I'm not out for any PRs or anything because I ride this so often, the chances of getting a PR is very, very low. So I thought I'd take it easy on myself and just tick away up here. Plus today the wind that I talked about earlier is actually pushing me up so it's making it slightly easier. that's the top of Edney's Lane done. That's all fine and dandy. And I didn't need to use my lowest gear, but I think that might have something to do with the tailwind. with and that's making this downhill very difficult plus I'm wearing a pair of shorts that uh, I don't normally wear and it makes the bike feel completely different
that's today's ride pretty much over and done with. I'm in the last 700 meters or so uh, and I've got a time of one hour four minutes so it's a bit faster than yesterday. One of the good things about riding the same route day after day is that you can kind of compare like for like so same route same bike same person and if you do it faster then you've either got fitter or the weather conditions have had an effect so yeah not a bad ride all round quite pleased with it Ride number four, done and dusted, and I'm fairly pleased with that. Uh, and due to the way that the uh, the vlogs are published, I'm going to say that my week ends on a Thursday. So uh, today's Thursday. This will be the last ride I'll do for this uh, vlogging week, uh, so that I can post the film on Friday morning, and then uh, the next vlogging week will start on. Uh, on a Friday. I know it's all mixed up, but uh, yeah, just kind of stick with me and all should become apparent. Now that I'm home, showered and relaxed, I suppose the burning question is, do I feel any benefits from these rides? Well, to be honest, I think it's a little bit early to answer that question. After all, I've only done four days of cycling. To begin with, I would say that my fitness level was probably on a rating scale of one to 10 at about a four or a five. So I wasn't desperately unfit to begin with. Um, and this week has probably increased it maybe to a definite five. Uh, the, the other empirical measurement that I can do is my weight. Now I stood on the scales just after I got home and it appears that I've lost about one and a half kilos from the beginning of the week, but this could obviously be due to many factors. Now, um, yes, I could have lost some weight and that's because I have been eating healthily, um, but it could equally just be down to the fact that I didn't drink anything on my ride and I sweated out one and a half kilos of fluid. So uh, it's a little bit early to tell at the moment. On a subjective level, do I feel any different about my cycling? Well, I think maybe I do. I, I am starting to look forward to these rides every morning, uh, whereas before they were a little bit intimidating thinking, oh, I've got to get up and do this ride. And now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually sort of thinking, oh, where can I go today? So I think there, there is a bit of an improvement there. Although having said that, I do still struggle to actually just get out of the front door. Once I'm on the bike, I really enjoy the rides. So are you training for a particular cycling event? If you are, please tell me all about it in the comments below. If you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.